Hey everyone, Daywalker Entertainment, aka Chris Chunky, back with another video. I apologize if I haven't made a video for two weeks, but if you saw the video I made uh, um, two weeks earlier, you'll know that I actually went on a trip to Oregon for Christmas to spend time with my cousins and family there. Well, my cousin, aunt, an uncle, they live in Oregon. I uh, couldn't make a video there since I sh I'm sorry if I didn't make a video there. I was planning to, but I uh, you know spending time with my family. So anyway, I'm back with another video. This time it's on the MP21 masterpiece Bumblebee. Now, unfortunately, this is a knockoff. But a really good knockoff, though. Before we get into this guy, let's move on to Spike. Uh, Spike. This is supposed to be his vehicle mode, which... Uh, not really interesting. I mean, the wheels roll... Well, not really his front ones, but the back ones roll. Front ones are just a bit too tight. See his head in there. To be honest, I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of this figure, but, eh, oh well, transformation, you unplug these from the side, lift this up, bring these back, these are supposed to peg into here, or they don't peg in, they mostly hold it in place. Bring these down, fold these in, turn these around like so, the deal becomes arms. Unpeg the back, strain out the legs. And you can see a problem, these legs don't like to stay on. Flip down the feet, fold the tires in, fold this forward like so. Same thing with this side. And there's Spike. Oh, I'm take this off, flip the, bring the head forward. that then you put the helmet on now there's spike not bad but again not my favorite Bumblebee was the main reason I got it unfortunately there was no Bumblebee that came on his own I'm sure there is but uh, anyway possibility you saw it you can say his head looks up and down. No rotation though. His arms can't rotate, but they swing out to the side. Rotate at the elbow. You can kind of bend it here. Like if you move this out of the way, then you could bend it like so. But yeah, legs can move forward and back, in and out. You can kind of bend at the knee. And these freaking legs don't want to stay on. Yeah, not really that well articulated, unfortunately. I mean, he's nice to have, but I only wanted Bumblebee. Oh, I was, oh that's why I found. Guess I found out these things can move. The back piece doesn't go. Another problem: this does not want to stay on. So yeah, Spike, I'm not a fan of. This figure, I'm not really a fan of it. So let's go on to Bumblebee. I really like this guy. Though he is small. I wish I had my Masterpiece Wheeljack to compare him to, but he's in robot mode right now. 
And we'd be here forever if I did that, but he is smaller than Wheeljack. And you just look at the size of my hands, he is tiny. He rolls, so there's that. But he actually comes with an accessory for roll vehicle mode, and that's this spare tire. And what you do, you move this, or if you don't want a spare tire, you can just take this and, uh, hmm. Peg it onto here. See the little peg and the little hole there? Just plug it in like so. If I can do that. Oh, come on. There we go. You have storage for the entire install rolls. Or if you want, you can take this license plate, even though it says nothing. You can remove this. Come on. Take this out. If you look inside the tire, there's a spot where you can store it. Like that. Then you take it and you... What the hell? Come on. I guess this thing doesn't like going into place. Great. Anyway, you can put that license plate there and then you just stick the tire on. Like so. But for me, I don't go for the uh, one with spare tire. I mean, you can if you want to, but. I'm not like that. I just have them with the license plate. Like so. Anyway, transformation. By the way, he has his gun here that you can't store in vehicle mode. Unfortunately, by putting it in and out of his hands in robot mode, the paint's starting to, unfortunately, chip off. That's unfortunate. Anyway, transformation for him, you bring this forward and down like so. Fold this piece in, fold it in like that, extend the legs, lock them into place like so. Bring the feet down like that, fold in the tire, fold in the doors. Same thing on this side. There are his legs. To raise this up a bit. The arms, you unpeg them from the inside, you fold them down. You pull them, peg them from here, bring it up like that, you fold it down there, turn your arm around, fold out the hand, take this piece, and fold it in like so. Same thing with this side, unpeg it, bring it down. Unpeg the arm, bring it up like so, fold it in, turn your arm around, flip up the hand, bring this in like so. Then you take this piece, you bring it back, then you rotate it. You fold this piece in, and you bring it down. Like that. Finally, take this piece and you bring it up to reveal his Ottawa symbol. And there's Bumblebee. I really like this figure. I really, really like it. I mean, he's just. He is really accurate to how he looked in G1 cartoon. Well, not really the face. He is missing those little curves on his face. But, oh well. What can you do? Now, the gun I already mentioned is an accessory. He can hold it in either hand. Though, apparently, he wishes he came with two of them. 
if it came with two of them, then that would be that would be that would be awesome. Anyway, I already mentioned the uh, spare tire and the gun. He also comes with a collector card, like the master, like all the other masterpiece figures. Even though this is my second one, his stats, Volkswagen, which is the name of the vehicle. Stuff that I can't read. I'm sure this is his bio, but I can't read it. And for some reason, his name Bumble. Why? I don't know. But he also comes with alternate faces. Comes with a. Uh... Come on. Focus. Like he's not focusing, but he comes with a happy face. He also comes with a face with the. He also comes with a face plate. Well, face with the visor, which you can't swap out for, which you can't swap out. I'm not gonna do that because it's it can be pretty difficult, so I'm not gonna do that. But he also comes with headlights that you need to put in yourself. But anyway, and yes, I do have a bit of a cold, so I apologize for that. I just take the gun off his hand. Yeah, the paint's coming off. That's not good. For possibility, his head can fully rotate. It can move up and down. His arms can fully rotate. He can swing out to the side. He has a bicep swivel. Bends at the elbow, surprisingly more than 90 degrees. His wrists can rotate. His fingers can't open and close. And the way it's sculpted, it looks like the fingers can move. Unfortunately, they can't. You, you can pretend you can bend at the wrist, but that's for transformation. You can rotate at the waist. Legs can move forward and back. They can swing out to the side. He can do the splits. Bend at the knee. Rotate at the knee. His ankles can move back and forth slightly. And, sides, and has an angle pivot as well. So yeah, Bumblebee is the one I wanted. I didn't really care for Spike in for this figure. I mean, that came with the figure. I didn't really care for him. But I'm happy with the Bumblebee. Again, I'm sure there is a Bumblebee out there that doesn't come with Spike. And it comes, with, comes on his own. And there is a gold variant of this. But I decided not to get that since this is the one I wanted. Unfortunately, it's a knockoff, but still, I like this figure. I really do. I really like the guy. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.